really interesting. Yeah, I, I was playing um, Marth, Ices. I, I play Marth, and okay. I was playing with Junk. Well, uh, I like play Ices, so here we go. Yeah, we, <laughs> we were uh, we were playing like friendlies on Slippy like a uh, few, few weeks ago, I think, and uh, they were telling me a bunch of stuff about the matchup, like how much Marth just needs to like be very cautious of things like a uh, Blizzard mm -hmm. and such. Yeah, you generally. Know. What, what we see going on right now, these down tilts and these fares and these weird drifts from Marth, that's what you kind of got to do. You got to keep uh, ICs away. So ICs have two different ways of dealing with it. You can either use the projectiles like Blizzard and Ice Blocks to your advantage like that. If you're going to keep away, then you can just wait for your opportunities with those Blizzards. Or you can use your movement like with waved lands and uh, crouch canceling. You can crouch cancel these rising fares and grab them, for example. Oh, wow. Oh. Okay. It's going in. Oh, I wonder if Gaz is from Tyler. <laughs> you think? You think? Or do you think his name is Tyler? <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. So there we go. That's going to be the first stock for Junk. Striking here. That's an interesting one. I actually don't like the stage versus Mars. I don't like the the narrow stages. Typically, I I like the. I use a lot of movement to try to get on, on Marth, and I don't like being like constantly next to him. Yeah, when I when I play uh, Marth here on this stage, it's sometimes a real pain to maneuver around and wave dash properly when you're trying to get grabs and such, because uh, the platforms are constantly moving. All right. Yep. I like this little. Uh, okay, so that was really good by Gaz. Uh, Junk started setting up the ice block uh, desync, and he comes in underneath an ice block and then down tilts and pressures it. So you, that down tilt doesn't necessarily have to hit. It does stop the ice blocks, though. They can't just keep like that. See, the, suddenly the ice block wall is done as soon as you go in there and you apply any amount of pressure. Well, I guess doing a real good job. Take care of Nana. Now so close all's left. Ooh, nope, mistimed it. So when when they're on that uh, in that situation, that charge is actually kind of bad because you lock your your place, right? You can't move from that spot. Mm -hmm. um, it's almost always better to walk and then forward smash at the appropriate spot. Oh, and the slow getup is actually going to have enough... Uh, yeah, slow getups slow get are so massive sometimes. Ooh. So that wave dash through that down tilt should have worked if it's clean enough, uh, but shielding that down tilt is not exactly what you want to do. I actually down smash. I fear the icy down smash yeah. every time. So if, if Marth is sitting there down tilting the ledge like that and you're on the ledge, he's basically not respecting your ledge dash because you can ledge dash straight oh, yeah. through it and down I, smash. I see ledge dash is, I, I feel like, it's pe really people good. underestimate it. it. It's really good. It's one of the better uh, down smashes in the game. Or it's not down smash, uh, ledge dashes. Ooh, good air dodge. Oh. Nothing really uh, Icy's going to do about yeah, that. Yeah, Gas is going to need to pick up the pace here in order to get caught up. A little miscue from both of them. Setting up the ice blocks. Oh, trying uh, to get through. Too Ooh. slow. That, that side B is just way too slow if you're trying to contest between a desync. There we go. Catches on uh, the... What's the move you think Gas needs to do in order to get, catch that desync then? Um, staying grounded is really good. Trying to go underneath. Like, when, the, when they're doing that... Uh, ice block on the platform, you can sometimes dash underneath it. Sometimes you can just go over with a forward tilt and outspace it. You can down tilt through them. Down tilt's really good at dealing with it. Down tilt ice climbers would basically have to read with a forward air. All right, let's see. Oh, no, he's yeah, actually just not going to contest it. Yeah, that, that platform is a really bad spot for Gaz to be trying to use that as uh, his way of trying to get back to stage. Yeah, the lower platforms are so good for ice climbers to up smash and forward smash through. Ooh, good wave land, but caught. Oh, oh wow, it just barely catches that. Yeah, take this opportunity. Yeah, I guess you're going to really need to make something here. Oh. See, I'm not, I'm not a big fan of that. The forward oh, smash there. is like decent, like right here, forward smash. There we go, timed it right. But okay. sometimes it's, it's actually just better to fair or something, or down air if they try to drift back to ledge. Anything other than grabbing ledge. I do like that from Gaz, because a lot of people make the mistake of grabbing ledge versus a recovering Sopo, but side B can't grab ledge anyway. So you should almost always just stay on stage. Yeah, you should treat it like a Falcon side B, kind of. Uh, uh, kind of yeah, in, in the sense that like you, you wouldn't need to roll up for that move. OK, Gaz is on his last legs right now. Oh, this could be turned around real easy if they suddenly get off stage. All right, yeah, slow it down a little bit. Oh, oh no, oh. the dash dance desync into Blizzard. 
there, there's a dash dance length that you got to stay away from ice climbers. Oh, oh I can't wow, believe it. A, oh, no. and he pops off. Ooh. Oh, just a little, little tiny pop off oh, from the both of them. Wow. Well, I guess uh, a, a pop off of of chagrin from one of them, and then a pop off of, of joy from the other. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Drunk's a very sweet person. Yes. Very chill to hang out with. Hang yeah. around with. Oh, I miss nice. my dog. What a what a shirt. I really I like it. Dog. Yeah. <laughs> I also miss my dog. Oh. Shout out to the the, the pets. Yeah, I have like and two and Aussies. Uh, feel like Australian Shepherds, and then uh, like a Blue Emerald Shelter. You know? That's what I was talking about right there. See how Junk tried to throw the ice box on the platform, and he and uh, and he ran underneath it and down tilted. Oh wow, yeah. Sometimes Marth can just like avoid these uh, projectiles and catch the ice damage stuck in their movement. Good air dodge out of that forward smash. So I think it gets it's really making utilization of the the side B, the dancing blade. Mm -hmm. It's it's a weird thing to play around. It's like in a vacuum, not good, but it's weird enough to where people almost never respond appropriately. Uh, see. That down tilt was the right move, but the action after the down tilt was not enough to dodge the out of shield punish. Usually, you got to get those ISA frames and down tilt and dash back out of the threat range. Oh wow! And Gaz goes for the taunt here. Gaz showing no fear against Junk. All right, set up an edge guard, Marth Killer maybe. No, the ice blocks. Oh. Ooh, see. Okay, so. Ice Climbers have two extremely good edge guards versus Marth, depending on what position Nana is in, or what, what percent Nana is at. And throwing those ice blocks is neither one of those. So, <laughs> uh, so it's a very interesting choice. You could say. Yeah, Ice Climbers actually have an insanely good edge guard on Marth in general. You just have to do the flow chart. Oh, the super wave dash. <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> or not wave dash, super moonwalk. Uh, it's, it's a silly thing to make. Uh, it's technically not a moonwalk, but it, oh, oh no, no, what's going on? Junk is just kind of falling apart right now. Right, let's see what Junk does to get together here. This is this is actually just like not a bad opening. Ooh, is that a big jump by Ice Block DC? That was really good. <laughs> okay, this could just be the stock straight up. All right, up air? No, he's just gonna wow. try and catch him going down. See, if you're going to position yourself underneath Marth like that, I don't know that shielding is the best spot to do it. Just, uh, oh, too no, just late. Places. In that situation, uh, when Nana's coming down, she's vulnerable again. She's only invulnerable for most of the uh, most of that belay. You can just walk forward and forward smash her right before she lands, and it's a guaranteed kill on Nana. Wow, well, Gas is going right, right in to junk at the right moments, too. Yes. Jack is unfortunately not responding very well to it. All right, this is the percent where you don't want to down smash from Marth. You kind of just want to grab an up smash. Oh, that's a good edge guard. That's the slip hog. So that's one of the very good edge guards versus Marth uh, in general. But that one was just not in the appropriate timing for his recovery. Oh, th that's a dead mana. Oh, no, he did a Nair instead. Walking away, Nana oh, with wow. a mind Nana of her own. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh no! Well, no Does a, a tournament gone. winner? Tournament winner will kill Nana. Did not have time to to save her. Gonna throw some ice blocks. Here. This is actually just so hard. Yeah, this is like a yeah. smash. All right. All right, and that'll do it. Gas takes it 2-0. Wow, I can't believe that. That was a. It was a really close game one, you know, yeah, uh, yeah. into like he like Gaz had to make a pretty serious comeback for that yeah, last definitely. stock on Ga game one. Gaz earned that and then, uh, game one, and, and then, then game two was just yeah. it just kind of snowballed. I wonder from if Junk was like getting into their own head about game one. Yeah, what happened there? Maybe maybe they were a little tilted on on that. Mm.